Let's make today an ideal recipe for this rainy season. It's a traditional one-pot dish made with a combination of rice, lentils, certain vegetables and various spices. Khichri is a distinctive dish in Bengali culture and is often associated with a comfortable meal on a rainy day. So let's make today a simple one-pot meal which has different names throughout the world and is famous worldwide. So let's begin today's recipe. Before that, hello and welcome back to my channel Cooking Story and this is Smita. So let me show you the ingredients. And the ingredients are red chili hole, bay leaves, cumin seed, cinnamon stick, green cardamom, salt, red chili powder, turmeric powder, ginger paste with their few green chilies as well as leaves of cauliflower cut into small pieces and with that some colorful vegetables green peas cauliflower carrot and potato and rice and moong dal over here i have used gobindo bhog rice you can use any scented rice of your choice now before i start let me show you which leaves i have used these are the leaves of the cauliflower. You can use it, wash it thoroughly and cut it into small pieces. Now let's begin the recipe. First, take a heated pan into it, add 3 to 4 red chili whole, 2 to 3 bay leaves, 1 tablespoon of cumin seed, 4 green cardamom and 2 small cinnamon stick. Now dry roast in a medium high flame for 2 to 3 minutes or until it does aromatic. Stir continuously or it will burn from below. After that, remove it from the pan and immediately place it into a mixer grinder and make a fine powder. And once you are done, keep it aside for the later part of the recipe. As our magical masala mix is ready to go. Next into the same pan, add half cup of moong lentils, split and half moong dal. Roast the dal on low heat, stirring often. While roasting or toasting, stir moong dal often on a low heat, continuously stirring helps the lentils to be evenly roasted. And once it changes its color, then into it add half cup of gobindo bhog rice or any scented rice of your choice stir well and then add water and rinse it properly for one to two times then drain the water and set the moon lentils aside after that in a big pan or handy Add 4 cup of water and once the water heat up then add this roasted moong dal and rice and cook it in a slow flame for 10 to 12 minutes or until 70% of this dal and rice are done. Next in a pan add 3 tablespoon of mustard oil and once the oil heat up add 1 large potato cut into small pieces with that half cauliflower cut into large chunks next into it add 1 4 teaspoon of salt and fry it in a medium high flame until it turns golden from all the sides though adding the vegetables to this rice and lentil preparation makes it a wholesome one pot meal you can even skip adding vegetables if you prefer and once these vegetables are golden brown, then remove it from the pan and into that same pan add 1 to 2 bay leaves and 2 to 3 green chili. Now add the cauliflower leaves which are cut into small pieces. After adding these leaves, fry them in a medium high flame for 3 to 4 minutes. Then into it, we will add all the spices. Next add salt as per your taste. After that, add half teaspoon of turmeric powder and one four teaspoon of red chili powder. Then add one teaspoon of ginger paste. Then add half cup of water, stir it well and cook for three to four minutes. And once everything is mixed well, then we will add this masala into the handi where we are cooking rice and dal. Next, 
Once you add all this masala, stir everything well very nicely so that the masala are well mixed with the rice. After that, cook for another 5 to 6 minutes in a very low flame. Though before cooking it, add all the veggies. Into it, I have added fried cauliflower, potato, one medium sized carrot cut into cubes, and handful of green peas. Now cook for another 5 to 6 minutes. After that, add 1 teaspoon of the masala which you had done at the beginning of the recipe. Once you add this masala, again stir well and cook for another 5 minutes or until it becomes little thick. Though I will say, do not need to make it very thick as once the khichdi cools down, it will become thick enough. So adjust the consistency according to your taste bud. And once you see that everything comes together and our rice and dal are well done, then add 1 teaspoon of sugar. Again, stir well and cook for another 3 to 4 minutes and our khichdi is well to go. Now you can see our khichdi has reached to its perfect consistency. Switch off the flame and immediately serve in a serving plate and sprinkle some roasted masala from top. 1 tablespoon of clarified butter to enhance its taste much more and then enjoy this with yogurt or any type of fries or even simple papad and garnish it with some coriander leaves it makes a healthy wholesome meal so my lovely foodies what you think is this tasty and delicious then why are you waiting for do subscribe my channel cooking study for more updates and hit the bell icon so when i upload my next video you get the notification first till then stay healthy stay wealthy enjoy this kitchen in this rainy season and do comment in my comment section below till then see you again with another interesting recipe Bye bye